Hi, my name is Christopher Hart. I'm a cartoonist and I get many questions. How do I get my drawings to look better? One thing that can really help is symmetry. And that's following the guidelines, but there's a little more to it than just a center line and a, an eye line. I want to show you a little bit about that today. So we're going to use this girl character and use the center line and the eye line to create a fun look. I'm going to work roughly here. So we know about putting the eyes here on the eye line. But what people don't always realize is that you don't just think about resting the eyes on the eye line. You think about the fact that the eyes need to also be measured against the eye line. This tear duct is as far from the center line as this, this tear duct is from the center line. That's why it looks symmetrical, not just because it's resting on the same eye line. The so, so let's, uh, before we go further, because I'm liable to just race ahead, let's just put the eye in. Each one looking at us. And we'll adjust these as we go. Now, the nose is in the middle, but not the whole nose. It's really the bridge of the nose. It starts in the middle and then comes out and the tip comes down here. I'm going to just bring this down a little bit. Okay. Now, we'll put some lips down low for her. Kind of make her look a little exotic. And of course, this is centered as well. Let's really slope those eyelids down here. Flatten the bottom a little bit. And bring those up to nice, thick eyelids. Like so. Now I'm going to also use symmetry here to, to say this where the center line is, this is the bottom of the chin. So it's sort of, so right here at this point, it starts coming back up. Very important to use this for more than just where the eyes are. Again, the neck, it's centered right there along the center line. I'm gonna darken that in. Same thing with the eyebrows. The eyebrow is this far, inner eyebrow from the center line, and same thing with this eyebrow. Also, this eye is this far, same thing on the other side. And this way, you're giving it a very controlled look. The viewer gets the feeling that you know what you're doing. You're in control of the character. So let's put the ear in. Wherever you put the ear, be it high or low, that's where you put the other one. Now, does it have to match exactly? No. I mean, no one's going to have a ruler, but pretty much, pretty much in the same place. A little darker below the lip. Let's put some hair and a nice style here. I'll give a little bit of a smile, a little bit of a smile. And go above the hair a little Now this is asymmetrical. You don't need to make the hairstyle symmetrical. As a matter of fact, sometimes, sometimes that could be boring. And let's darken the eyes. A little shadow for the eyelids and a little under the neck. A little shadow back here and on the bridge of the nose. All right, there you go. I hope that lesson was helpful. A lot of tips on my videos. I hope you'll watch more of them. Please visit me at my website, ChristopherHartBooks.com and on Facebook. And I hope you'll subscribe to my YouTube channel. I, I upload new videos every Monday. Thanks for watching.
Bye bye. And I'm the author of many popular how to draw books on everything from cartooning to manga. I upload new videos each week, so please subscribe and enjoy.